All right, hello everybody, and welcome to another episode of the Enthusiast Experiment. I'm Mike, your host, and today we're gonna to be taking a look at uh, some Kopi Luwak. So it's that crazy coffee that these little animals ingest the beans, poop out, people harvest them, and then it's supposed to be the best coffee in the world. Never tasted it myself. That's what we're here to do today, and hopefully give you guys a little bit of a look at it. The brand I chose was this. Hopefully that's popping up okay for you. It's the Bantai Civet Coffee. It's 100% pure civet coffee. Civet is the animal that actually ingests and then um, poops out the beans and claims to be the world's rarest, rarest beverage. It also has their website on there if you guys would like to try and nab some yourself. This is 100% pure, wild, and organic. It's medium roast, um, whole civet coffee beans. As you can see, this is the actual beans that it comes with. Just wanted to give you guys a look at it. As you can see, they're not as oily as I would have thought. Hopefully that's coming through on the, the camera. And you can tell they're definitely uh, medium to a little bit darker roast because of the, the way the beans are kind of a little bit more hollow. If that makes sense to you coffee drinkers, hopefully. Um, and it's roasted in the US, imported from the Philippines. And I'll just read what it says on the back here. It gives a little description. We'll go through that and then we'll jump right into the tasting. Uh, so by purchasing Bantai Civic Coffee, you are supporting the indigenous uh, Asipulo tribe and civet populations of the Philippines. Money earned from the production also goes towards future development of the uh, Julia Campbell Agro Forest Memorial Park. And then it gives you instructions on how to prepare. Unfortunately, I don't have a French press here. So I did use a Chemex, uh, which I'm a huge fan of. I was gonna go with an AeroPress, which I also have uh, in the corner over there, but decided this would probably be, I guess, the next best thing. And one last look for you there. This is the coffee brewed. Wanted to give you a, kind of a, a look. Unfortunately, I don't have anything white to hold up as a background, sorry. But it's not super duper dark, but it's not, it's not really light either. It's definitely kind of in the middle. Uh, and then and maybe you can get an in-cup glance there, but probably not much help. So let's jump into it. The beans themselves, have a really nice sweet aroma. They're very, f like, uh, I wouldn't say floral, but maybe like honeydew or honey-esque. So floral in that sense, maybe like orange blossom, something like very kind of sweet fragrant. The coffee itself. Same kind of syrupy sweetness. I have not put anything in it. It is black and sugar-free um, and milk-free. There's nothing in it besides the coffee, sorry. I didn't specify that a little sooner. Tastes pretty good. Uh, honestly, it's a little less on the palate than I imagined. Uh, it's a little lighter body than I envisioned. So for some of you super dark roast, heavy, uh, like, you know, French roast coffee drinkers, this probably isn't gonna suit the, the taste unless you wanted to grind up a lot more beans than recommended. This is about four servings, by the way. This is, in itself is probably a little more than one serving, um, but the bag that I bought came with about four servings and it was probably about 40-ish dollars. So it's definitely not cheap. And I tend to drink a little bit Probably light or dark roasts. Uh, we have a few great roasteries where I'm from that do really awesome light roasts. So that tends to be what I drink. So I'm used to a lot more flavor, honestly. Um, this is pretty light bodied and pretty light flavored. It's kind of almost watery, which may be my fault for not using the French press because I know that does add some body. But overall, I would probably say Skip it. Uh, if you've been dying to try it, go out and grab some. I mean, this is a great way to do so without spending a ton of money. You know, it's still, like I said, it's like 40 bucks, but again, that kind of thing, like we mentioned earlier, you can go in on with your friends and it won't be too, too bad. But yeah, just wanted to give you all a first look. Hope you have had a great Christmas and a great new year and look forward to seeing you a lot more. Take it easy. Happy 2015.